Well, uh, my purpose of this video is, well, first introduce myself in a slightly less formal capacity. I'll do a face-to-face -face later. I'm kind of nasty, so you're not going to see me right now. Um, this is a little, you can call me Lance. I know it's a dude's name. It's a long story, but um, my point here is just kind of give an overview of the uh, Bobobi boy MSD size body. This is the one with the three-part torso. You'll see that in a minute. Um, I'm going to do more than just like a body overview, a little bit of clothes, and just kind of an overview of what I do and don't like about the body. So you know kind of what you're getting into, because I just don't find a whole lot of information about this guy. So, um, as far as what he's got on right now, I don't know where the wig came from. I got it off the Denton of Angels uh, marketplace. Likewise with his clothing. Um, it's all really big on him. Uh, the previous owner said she had it on a Kid Delf Lutz. And they're a bit stockier than these guys. The Bobby guys are skinny, just like the uh, Resin Soul girls are. Um, the length is good. The Doll Zone pants I originally got for him, these are really long, just why so you can see all the wrinkles up here. I have to press these out again. But these are what he had on before. His shoes, which you can now see, they're also Doll Zone. They're really loose, but as you can see, he's got socks on. That helps. You know, they don't wiggle around and they're. Nice and stable for him to stand on, even though he usually sits. Um, you'll notice how his arm looks broken right now. I'll get to that in a minute. There's a reason for that. Um, I'll start from the top, work my way down, and cover everything as I get to it in that way. So, first, with wigs, 6-7 uh, usually works pretty well. This is pretty loose. It kind of basically fits perfectly. It Because this, this is actually a natural fur wig, so he's got the skin in there. I know a lot of people don't take issue with that. I bought it secondhand, so normally I don't condone the killing of critters in the case of, for the sake of dolls. But since you know this was used, I kind of don't have a problem. So I mean, it already exists. Might as well use it. Um. So then he got so the silicone wood cap helps since that skin's so slidey and stuff on the resin. So peel off. So now he looks like a cancer patient. Um. His head cap. Is nice. It's pretty smooth. You know, you can clearly see the ridge there. Pretty solid. You can just see a little bit of the give on that. Um, magnets on the bottom part, and there's a hook right here. That that was that little D3 that was in there from the factory. There's a another D3 on the inside of his head. I assume that's how they make sure to match models to head caps. Uh, you know, it's these little pegs to fit in there. It's the hook that goes in there. So when you put it back on, you hook it first and then let the magnet grab. So I'll just leave that off for now. He's still got his default eyes in. You know, they're just bobo bee eyes. They have nice high dome on them. I like them. They're good for now. Um, use I think that's poster tack that they used to keep his eyes in. I'm just going to leave that as is. Here's the hook. Um, the first note of what's different here than how they come. Um, the knot here is just, you know, the two strings put together, wrapped around, my finger pulled through, so it's just like that. Um, the original knots were two things different. First, it was that there was, it was a box knot, a square knot, rather. For both strings, both strings were brought up around the hook. That is, the both strings for the arms, because that's a loop, and both strings for the legs, that loop, were both brought up around the hook. Uh, the leg string actually came untied on me about four or five days after I got him home. Uh, so I got an, a restringing adventure. I didn't videotape that or anything, but you know, it worked. It worked okay. Um, shout out to Kitty Blue for letting me randomly PM her and be like, "Hey, uh, is it okay if I just leave the arm string off?" And she said, "Yeah, she'd done that before because she knows Bobo always sends them that way." Blah 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 blah. But yeah, no problem. So and he th he works just fine as before. Since there was less, you know, when you pull the string up from the arms into the head, that uses more string, so that makes the tension in the arms tighter. Um, when you don't do that, that makes the tension in the arms looser, so you have to bring the knot down a little bit. So I didn't actually untie the original arm string. I'll try to show that show you that later once I get them stripped. I did not similar to this, a little further down from the square knot, which is still in there. So there's like, you know, you'll, there'll be the square knot right here, and then there's this knot that's further down, just to tighten it up a little bit. So I guess I'll take his head off, just because that just makes everything easier as far as stripping him is concerned. Another thing I did is, you can see right there, he has his industrials in. 
I don't have the studs on either side that would be there and there, but, you know, it's 90% of the way there. I figured this is the hard part. I just need to get the studs to finish it off. So, and this is a default face-up. You know, lots of browns and stuff. So, it's cute. It works. Not quite what I'm looking for right now, but I don't have any face-up skill. So, you can stay as it is. And there's a profile. There's the other profile. Straight up. You know, and there's, you can see his neck socket. Um, as far as all the sockets are concerned, I gave him a good once-over as soon as he came in. The molding on the inside of the sockets is real clean and smooth. Um, not really any rough parts or anything like that. Not in the eye sockets. I've seen some kind of rough, just bits of resin just like kind of left in there, not really sanded down at all. But he's real smooth, real nice. Next, you know, like I said, everything's still nice and smooth. His body is, you know, appropriate for MSD. He's not real hefty or anything like that. Then there's um, my big, my big pet peeve about this body that I've come to realize is these balls in his arms. That just kind of spins around like a bead. And yes, it's really easy to do that when there's no tension on it, but it does it even when there is tension on it, like when it's everything, everything's together, it twists a lot, which sends the arm, the hand around. And when, probably easier to see on this side, see that slot right there? Uh, when that slot isn't coming out to the inside of the arm like this, it doesn't move well. See, the slot's there, so it moves real nice, you know, and stays there and holds. Does that real nice. But if I spin it so that it's on the inside, it's on the, now it's over here, that slot. And see, it's just plain here. It doesn't move so well. It just kind of stops there. So you absolutely need to make sure that slot is on the outside, which makes long sleeve shirts like this kind of a pain. Fortunately, these sleeves are nice and loose, so I can push them up, pull them down, whatever. I'm going to get his shoes off so I can get his pants off. Uh, his torso is real nice. The three-part torso is fun because he's a sloucher in his character, so... Come on, come off. Come off real easy, except for when I'm on a time clock, because stupid YouTube ten minutes. Share yourself in ten minutes or less. Okay. Um, socks off. These are actually girls' socks. They're supposed to go up to the knees, but they're the only ones I got, so I'll use them. Got them in a random lot with some other clothes. Most of it's mint on card clothes. The mint on card shirts fit great. Uh, that fluttery black one with the long sleeves, that fits nice. Um, it's pretty much exactly to his chest, so anything chestier than him will be too t definitely too tight on. Um, stuff like this. This is pretty loose, but I had a tank top on underneath because the metal and the snaps like to leave behind lines, like you can see here on his belly button. That there's, you know, that little dusty stuff, but that wipes right off, even just with my hand. See, that's gone now. So that's not definitely not a huge deal. Um, I have a couple of funny stringy things, and if someone can give me some advice, that'd be great. Um, he likes to be kind of cocked off to the side like that. And his head, I'm just going to stick it on here just kind of real quick, kind of likes to go down into the side like that. It's not actually doing it now, I'm kind of forcing it, but... Um, when I pull his chest apart, let's see if I can get the camera in there. See, there's how I have it strung. You can see the square knot and then the other knot tied around just just above it. That knot likes to hang out over there in that corner, which I think is what the cause of everything going off kilter is. So if anyone has any ideas as to how I can keep that from all going off kilter, that'd be awesome. Throw me a comment, throw me a PM. My username on DOA is purplevix. Purple as in the color, Vix as in Vixen, V as in Victor, I-X. Because um, I'd love to know. But anyway. Because I'm kind of a newbie at this, but... In contrast to the elbows... Oops, hit the camera. Get all this other extra stuff out of here. Um, in contrast to the elbows, the knees are nice. You know, the knees have a peanut, so to speak, in there. There's give you a full up close look of his junk. Uh, you know, there's the, the, the little letters there so you know you got your rights and your lefts. That goes on the top, on the outside, and um, there's those little fins, sort of, that go into those notches so you make sure, so he's good and locked and sturdy when he's standing. So that kind of sits in there. There's another set there on the calf section that kind of goes there. When you got everything in there locked nice, 
the front of this is nice and smooth. It doesn't stick out. And see how that's this one's not locked. It's kind of overlapping funny. Um, the hips don't sw swivel too bad. Like when you, you know, like if you pick them, like if you're sitting and then you pick them up, you know, they don't swivel too bad. And there's there's no extra joint in here for there's no mobility joint, no cup in here, or anything like that. Again, in here it's real nice and smooth. No sloppy resin here. His feet, you know, it's another. This looks like there's a ball here, but it's actually fused to the foot. And then, of course, there's, he came with hooks, which is nice. I know even lots of the more expensive companies don't even send hooks. But, you know, they're here. Um, also on his hands. Um, another issue, mostly with Bobobi's arms, I don't know what that is with them and then their arms, is their wrist here is kind of wide and, like, uh, flared out. So it looks kind of big and bulky, so it's mostly why I have them in long sleeves, because it kind of covers that a little bit. So I might sand that down. I know some people have. I think Kitty Blue mentioned something about that. I'm such a name dropper, I'm sorry. But anyway, oh, the hands are nice, though. I like the hands. Uh, just a little, you can see just a little bit of definition in his ribs, but otherwise he's pretty, you know, he's good for a skinny young boy, which is what he is. Now, back to, about clothes. Um, as I said, these are the pants, tank top I had underneath this shirt because of the metal. Those fit, that all fits pretty good. Um, here's that Ruffly shirt I was talking about. Uh, this is pretty much fits like a glove. I mean, any, like I said, anybody thicker in the chest than him, this isn't going to work. This is one of the shirts, I think it's one of the K2 shirts from Mint on Card. I know they're closed at the moment, but, you know. This is the shirt that came with that doll's own set. I forget whose full set it is, but they're, it's, it's a pretty easy set to get. Uh, a lot of this is just kind of handmade stuff by people other than myself. This is another mint on card shirt that I bought at the same time as these two black ones. Uh, this also fits nice. Blue stripes go with his eyes pretty well. I know it needs to get ironed because he wore it for a while. but um, That's basically anything interesting in here. This is just mostly random stuff. This is a doll's own wig. It's the black one with the blue layer on top. You can see there's blacks and blues. Um, this was a, a little loose, mostly because I think of his head shape. Um, you know, his head shape is actually pretty uh, standard human shape. You know, it kind of comes a little bit out the back, mostly a little bit off the top. It's kind of more a general round head. Not like, I know Ipple House's heads tend to be taller and what, you know, taller and skinnier. Like, more like a tube or a big fat sausage um same with same with doll chateau um but like and volk's heads tend to be more oblong come out the back more um i think the doll zone wig would fit more for a head that comes out the back more same with uh the fur wig here this rainbow guy this is kind of hilariously awesome i do love this wig but it just doesn't work um because it's this this works better for a taller head, like an Ipple House or a Doll Chateau head that's taller and skinnier, rather than one that's more around like his. I guess that's it. Um, I, get, I get to put them back together now. Um, well, if, you have, if there's anything else you want to see, I don't have any other dolls to compare any resin with or anything like that. Um, I'll just cover his junk like that. Um, I don't have any other dolls to compare any resin with. I don't have anything... Uh, really else to add that I can think of, but if you think of something you want to know, let me know in the comments, PM, here, uh, you know, YouTube, DOA, whatever, you know, I'm a flexible kind of girl, not literally, but you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, I know I ramble, I'll get better, practice makes perfect, uh, see you later, bye!